It's, a, it's an interesting one because I've managed to make a car that doesn't look very sporty. sporty. Um, yes. You know, it doesn't, it's doesn't futuristic look sporty. That, that's the thing. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Behind the Wheel Weekly. Today we're talking about the Hyundai Ioniq 5N, which looks absolutely incredible. The best part of like 600 brake horsepower. It's the ultimate, ultimate hot hatch. I'd right. feel so stupid if I ordered, just ordered a normal Ioniq 5 now. Cheers, Sabo. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, thanks for reminding me of my thing. Who ordered the Ioniq 5 anyway? It wasn't me. Um, <laughs> But it's a seriously good looking hatch and um, I am super excited for it. Um, here's the thing, right? They took what was already an amazing looking car and bought by people who are very clever and, um, and you know, just really esteemed people, you know? Um, gentlemen, people who have knowledge, you know? No, 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 no badge snobbery here. This is this is a real good looking car. That's lucky, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Says the one who was just talked by the BMW X7, right? Right there. Um, no, this is a great car and they've made it look even better and I'm so excited for it. I genuinely can't wait. Um, yes, we have just ordered the Ionic 5 normal mode. Um, but uh, yeah, th th this is going to be a great car for, for people. The thing I can't quite figure out is why would you buy it? I mean, beyond the great looks, but it's like... I forgot what it looks like. I need to re it. Oh man, it just <laughs> looks incredible. It looks absolutely incredible. But there's something... It'll be at, what, at least 60 odd grand, right? 50 to 60 grand. Yeah. And it's, it's like... Six, and it's like... Mm, if you had that sort of money, would you really get an Ionic 5N? Okay, okay. It's, a, it's an interesting one because I've managed to make a car that doesn't look very sporty. It's sporty. Um, yes. You know, it does. It's futuristic it sporty. That, that's the thing. Yeah. I mean, what other hot electric hatches are there? That not really any yet. Uh, a bar hopefully is, is hoping to get one out next year. Are they still? Um, I mean, are, are, are they still actively doing so? Yeah. Really. Oh, leadership over there. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. No, no, but is it like, like, is it like? Releasing cars. Yeah, well, well I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> They're working on stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. Abarth yeah. are not particularly the fastest company to, to yeah. get current cars. Out. Great I mean, cars, though. Uh, I mean, like, yeah. I, I kind of, I mean, you know, I mean, this is this could be a whole, whole, you know, n yeah. another video, but um, the stuff they've done is incredible. Yeah, absolutely incredible. I mean, in the last decade, they've launched two cars. <laughs> the last decade, <laughs> two cars. <laughs> I think in that time, Mercedes have done like nah, at least 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I guess they're not the yeah. Uh, yeah. not the fastest company in the book. Um, but yes, they they're hoping to do an electric car hatch next year. Um, no details yet, but I think it will become a trend. It will become. I mean, you have got the Cupra. Oh, born. Yes, Cupra born. Yes, indeed. Um, That's it. Yeah. yeah. Which fifth gear said it was worse than the Cupra Leon, which is ten thousand pounds cheaper and it's also slow. Really. Yeah. What was wrong with it? I think it was only like 240 brakes and stuff like that. Whereas the oh. Cupra Lens was 300 and the Cupra Lens cheaper. How surprising. Yeah. I actually really like that car. Yeah, it's really good. Just based on the looks, I've been yeah. obviously driven it, but yeah. Um, wow. So I think there is a market for electric car hatches, um, but you just got to get a pricing towards that. You know, are people really willing to spend 40 grand on a hot hatch? Yeah, exactly. Uh, electric exactly. Car hatch, you know, at that. Um, I think there is a market for hyper hatches. Like Mercedes A45, yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah, that sort of legal car RS3. But the sort of uh, forty to sixty. Yeah, there's brand. nothing. You know, really, a hot hatch it should be acceptable. You know, it should be 30, 35 yeah. grand tops forty. Yeah. Um, you know, they, a hot hatch is ex accessible to the masses. Yeah. The hatches nowadays, like top of the league hatches, are not for young people anymore. They're, you know, I've never seen. Um, maybe a few exceptions here and there. But I've never seen, seen anybody younger than maybe 35, 40 driving an A45. Yeah. They're all older people. Or, yeah. you know, the exception being it's like five years old, but I've yeah, yeah, seen yeah. a brand new A45 being driven by them. Like, no, it's true, yeah. But I just are typically driven by people who want to have um, a very fast car, but I guess um, don't want to have the possible 
um, don't, don't have enough disposable income to go full on with a supercar, yeah, exactly. um, but will have the thrill of being able to drive fast and also have the comfort of that as well. So I guess I, I, I kind of see it. Yeah. Um, but you know, a super, super exciting car. Um, I can't wait for it to come out. Yes, I do feel like an idiot to some degree for getting your normal Ionic 5, but I'm also like, I don't need that. I don't crave that kind of performance mm -hmm. in my life right now. I'm not like, oh, let's go racing on a weekend. No, not my thing. But credit to Hyundai for making a car that looks absolutely, absolutely incredible and making something that was already pretty damn good looking now looks sporty as well. Um, so yeah, we shall see how that car does next year. Thanks for listening, guys, and take care.